Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with another Minecraft conversion video, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to turn Minecraft into an alien planet survival game. I've actually wanted to make this particular video for quite some time, but I didn't really know exactly how to go about doing it. But now I have a setup that I'd say I'm very happy with, and this particular conversion's gonna be pretty different compared to vanilla Minecraft. Not only has it visually been just completely changed, but also the way you have to survive in the world is gonna be a little bit different too. And before we get started, if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe. I very much appreciate it. And anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so just for starters, we're actually going to be using Fabric to install all these mods rather than Forge this time around. So keep that in mind as we go forward. And if you're looking for a very easy way to install Fabric mods, or Forge mods really, I'd recommend MultiMC. It's really easy to use and makes installing either Forge or Fabric incredibly simple. And the first mod we're going to be installing is, of course, Optifine. And in order to make Optifine work with Fabric, you're going to need the Optifabric mod as well. So make sure you have both of these installed as we're definitely going to need both of them for some of the upcoming stuff in this video. And you know, you should just have Optifine installed anyway. Next, we're going to be installing the mod that we're going to be building most of this around, and this is the Better End mod. This mod gives us new biomes, new creatures, a bunch of new visual effects, and a whole lot more. And you may be thinking to yourself, how is this going to work as an alien planet survival game if it's just the end? Well, what we can do is actually change some settings in the config. So open up your config folder, then better end, and then select the generator file. And in here, we're going to make some changes. First, we're going to change has dragon fights to false because otherwise you're going to have the ender dragon just flying around in your world and you probably don't want that. Next, we're going to set swap overworld to end to true. And this is going to make it so you will actually spawn in the end. You'll also want to set use new generator to true and and no ring void to true. These four settings you're gonna have to set to this particular setup, otherwise it's just not gonna work correctly. Other than that though, you really don't need to change anything. Unless you'd like to, you can, but really, you can probably just leave it all default. Next up, we're going to be installing Chalkpick 13's version 9 shaders. And when you download the shader, it actually contains five variants of the shader, ranging from low to extreme, and it's actually not going to matter which one you use. In the overworld, you'll notice some very big differences between these shaders, but in the end, they all look essentially the same. And this shader fits unbelievably well with the Better End mod. I've tried other shaders with this mod, and none of them look nearly as good, and honestly, most of them are just kind of broken. Chalkpick 13 shaders, on the other hand, look absolutely amazing with the better end mod and perform a lot better than you would expect. The next two mods we're going to be installing are just some mods that'll add some pretty nice effects to your world, and the first of the two is the Falling Leaves mod. And as you could probably guess, this mod adds falling leaves to trees in the world. And in the better end, there are a lot of trees. The effect is just really nice and makes the already amazing looking world look even better. The second of these two mods is Illuminations. And we're installing this mod in particular for the effect it adds to the Chorus Plant. Similar to the Falling Leaves mod, when you're near Chorus Plants, you'll notice that there'll be falling petals from them. And just to add to the alien appearance, these will even glow. Next up, I've installed Mod Menu, and this will allow you to customize a lot of the mods that we've installed, so if there's something that you want to change, you can go ahead and do it very easily in-game. This will be especially useful for the Falling Leaves, Illuminations, and some of the upcoming mods. The next mod we'll be installing is one that I would definitely say comes down to preference, and this is Presence Footsteps. And what this mod does is makes us so there's a lot more sound effects depending on what block you're walking on. And in the Better End mod, this makes us so a lot of the terrain sounds almost slimy. It truly makes the world just sound more alien, and honestly, for some of you, it's probably a bit too much, so again, this one just kind of comes down to preference. I would recommend, however, that if you are going to install this mod, you turn down the footstep sounds with the mod menu. The default volume might as well be considered ASMR, so I like to turn it down to around 20%. Next, we have First Person Model, and this is another mod that's going to come down to preference, and it makes it so you can actually see your body in first person. And I just really like how this looks. I guess you could say it makes the game look more immersive, so I've decided to include it this time around. Just make sure that you disable Entity Shadows, because they can get a little broken with the shader involved. And finally, the last mod we will be installing is the Companion mod. And this mod adds a bunch of cool, helpful tools to the game, although sadly, I'm not sure you'll actually be able to get most of them in the end. You can, however, build a portal inside of the better end that brings you to the overworld, so I suppose you still could get the items. The item that you will actually be able to make here, however, and the reason I'm installing this mod is the spears. With this mod, you can craft spears which work similar to the trident, and I feel like a spear is very fitting in this particular situation. And there you have it. We now have a glowing, beautiful, vibrant alien world for you to explore. It's a completely survivable world, so if you don't want to leave, you can stay here forever. But as I mentioned before, you can activate a portal back to the overworld, just in case you'd like to visit both. And anyway, 
Anyway, now that we've installed the mods, here's some gameplay for you. And if you'd like to check out some of my other Minecraft conversions, just click the link above. And anyway, here's that gameplay. Alright, that's the end of this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and if there's any other Minecraft conversions you'd like me to do in the future, go ahead and comment those below and I will take those into consideration. And anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.